So this is my 75 gallon aquarium and I'm going to clean it today and I'm going to show you how I do it and uh, I'll kind of go through the process. It doesn't look too bad but I think uh, I clean it every three weeks so I'm just going to clean it. You can kind of tell that back filter is getting pretty pretty dirty. Um, and this is under gravel filter so it sucks all the water down so the gravel is what is the filter um, and that's probably pretty dirty and this is what I use that'll suck up the gravel so step one is take all of the decorations out take the lid off so you can get to it easier and that's the step one so we'll start with that all right, so we got all the decorations taken out and the lid off and it got stirred up a little bit. Now you can see how dirty it really is. It's pretty bad. Um, and that's not even, you know, the, the bad stuff is in the gravel. The gravel is gonna be really dirty and I'll show you that here in a second. Okay. So you take this thing, get closer, go to that, and I got a weight on here, so I just siphon this, and I'll go through the, the entire tank. I go through all the gravel. You can see how dirty it is. And I'll get it down to about three inches and I don't take the fish out. The fish are going to stay in the whole time. Here, look at that. Don't drop the phone in the water. See how bad that is? So I'm going to go through the entire tank that's the process right now all right so I just got done going through the entire tank um, it's starting to look a lot cleaner and now what I'll do is clean I'll take these off these power heads get them cleaned and uh, start adding water back in I did see one fish died right there and I think I might have hit him when I was cleaning but uh, I guess that stuff happens other than that these all look really good So I'm going to get them a little bit more water to swim in. So this is uh, how I mix up my water. I use, I go all the way hot and then all the way cold. Um, and then I take this stress coat and I just give them a, a cap full. And you cannot overdo this. That's, uh, you know, takes the chlorine out of the water. You can't use too much, it won't hurt the fish. Um, so. Well, you don't want the temperature to be too cold and you don't want it to be too hot, so I just go right in the middle and that seems to be perfect. All right, so I got the tank refilled and it's gonna look hazy that's completely normal um, for about a day actually maybe about half a day you know this is going to be crystal clear tomorrow um, I'll make another video of what it'll look like tomorrow but that is the process and it took me about an hour and a half 
uh, to do a 75 gallon tank. So this is um, almost 24 hours later and you can see how clear it got. It really cleared up nicely. And it was probably clear, um, you know, last night it was probably pretty clear. Here, don't tap on that. Well, yeah, I'm it's gonna, important to uh, clean I'm it, gonna, that, I'm gonna clean put, it every three weeks. I'm gonna put the feed in. Okay, I'm gonna put the feed in. The food, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put the food. Yeah, it's let's feed them. <laughs> Here, take the lid off. Don't get them do too much in, but go ahead and dump it in slowly, slowly. That's plenty. It's probably good. They were pretty hungry. I think I, I'm going to get about 20 more fish. Um, I probably have 25 in there now. And this is a 75 gallon tank, so I got a lot of room for, for more, so. And I can control the bubbles. I got an under gravel thing here. It's four foot long and some other spots. But anyway, I can control how much air goes to each one by doing, doing this. Now that's kind of a cool feature. Usually don't have it on full blast like that, but turn it down a little bit. And I like to put the put one in these, like that ship there, or, or this this submarine thing. And I can control that up here. But I usually have it pretty low. So yeah. That's how I clean my fish tank. Thanks for watching.